I have so much to say about you, but let's just start off by saying you're like boyfriend or manager, whoever the fuck that is. He's obviously trying to save you. You should be thanking him, not only thanking him, listening to him. He's obviously trying to save you from whatever predicament you've already put yourself in. Like you're already here. It's too late. What's up, boys? It's Bumpkin, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So, uh, uh, I don't have anything to say. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I went to look at my lineup of videos that I had thought about making, and I saw this, and I was like, you know, these can be pretty funny. People making a fool of themselves who wouldn't want to laugh at that. Right now, we're focused on uh, this fucking giraffe right here. He refuses to wear a mask and obviously does not know what five feet is. The six feet apart thing must have been, you know, absolutely mind boggling because for some reason, she doesn't realize that she's taller than five feet. Clearly, you must have a mask because he's wearing his right now. If that's your man, he's honestly a bad boyfriend for not just slapping a mask on your face. He would have saved you a whole lot of a headache. I, under, I understand. Um, as, if you don't mind, can you please just put it on? I mean, like... I just put a lip ring I yeah, yeah, I could, I could, I could go, go get, I'll go get yeah. my manicure for you. Yeah, that would don't seem why I need to have a mask on to go five feet. Well, ma'am, because it's, it, we're, we're that girl's not wearing one, that girl's not wearing well, one. Well, explain to you if, if, if you don't let me talk. I'm not walking five feet into a restaurant. But if people like you, that would be difficult to have, but it's not fair because it's not even my fault. I, I just quit. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Oh my God. Jeez. She should have seriously just oh, left. Fine. Wow, fine. Lady. I'll wear it. I'll wear the mask. There's no way this is real. Honestly, no, I don't even think this is real anymore. She just pulled her mask out of her back pocket like it was nothing. Somebody already quit. This guy in the yellow is dressed like Ronald McDonald, and everyone is okay with that in the room. No one has a problem with this. Large. That is large, man. No, this is a small. We, we weigh it, man. Like, like I, that's the most I can give you right now. We weigh it, and it's all by weight and everything. You have glasses on, which means you should be able to see. That, and I want a large ma'am. to make this correctly. Before I shove it down your damn throat. Yeah, I got you. I'm sorry. What the f is wrong with you? That All right, but was her uh, was her creation good? Was the combo good or was it trash? That's what I want to know. I mean, yeah, she's a bitch, but like, does she have good taste? Honestly, when he apologized, I wasn't sure what to expect. At first, I thought he was really folding, but then he ate it and told her to leave. That's that's perfect. Do whatever you want, of course, but personally, if you can walk in with it complaining, you can walk out with it complaining. I don't see a point in even grabbing it. Just leave. Flip the cup in her face. Maybe she can just try it anyway, right? It didn't even look like she gave it a bite. No, no. Instead, her fat ass decided, let's just immediately ask for more. That even looked like a large. I don't know what the... F <sighs> it's probably like 10 o'clock and she's asking for more ice cream. What is that? Yogurt? Frozen? I don't care. Go. I never even drive up the street. I never come up the street. Dead serious? I can't tell how old she is. She looks like she could be like 25 and 40 at the same time. Does anybody know her age? If someone said she was actually a high schooler, I wouldn't even be surprised. Still, I don't know. How many kids in high school do you really see complaining this fucking much this early in the morning? Is the vehicle even that loud or do you just not like the fact that it's in the road? She's learning. She's trying her hardest. You're making it such a big deal, but do you drive stick shift? Do you know how to go manual? Off topic, really quick, driving a stick shift actually sounds kind of fun, if you want me to be honest. I have a good idea of how to drive one and, you know, how everything works, but I'm pretty sure if I was behind the wheel, I would kind of sell. I do it all the time in Forza Horizon 5. Does does that count? Somebody please say that counts. It would make me feel a whole lot better. Everybody's taking Back video. Me away from my son. Like you're about to talk shit about his mom or the dispatchers telling you to back away. How do you how do you possibly think this is going your way? I refuse to believe this isn't a real person. She has too much experience and misery in her voice. Couldn't imagine being a grown woman and seeing this back on TikTok on my for you page. Wow, look at me. I look like a 16 year old girl going through mental health trials. I mean, I guess they don't really go away when you become an adult, right? Some people just refuse to go to therapy. It's like a little photo shoot. 
Right? The masks are a nice what accessory are you, to that. What are you gonna do? We're in the middle of a pandemic. I hate this high school back and forth talk. It, it's really awful, but you know, Target is full of pretentious people and Karens. I mean, honestly, this is where you find it all. Oh. All three of you? All three really? of you? All three of you? Where are your all your kids are oh. wearing masks. That's impressive. And then you guys aren't? It's sad that you think you're exempt to the entire country who has to wear masks. Oh. I'm an adult, all right? You can't tell me whether I should wear a mask or not, even if I should be, okay? I don't need to be called out by children, even if they're probably right. So what if there's a countrywide mandate? You're a child. You don't know shit compared to me. Maybe if you grew up a little bit, I would listen to you and I would feel accountable. But instead, I'm gonna throw this on you being a kid and not knowing anything. This is like the easiest adult tactic in the world. Just, just blame it on them being young. But like in this case, it's not really that difficult of a concept to fathom, right? This is like small brain material. I don't know. Even like some of the youngest children have grasped this knowledge, but no, I mean, it's always a question of authority, right? Until you you need the cops called. Crazy Karen chased us home part one. She refused to pay us for moving, so we kept her stuff. You know, I was gonna ask how these situations even pop up in reality, but I guess anyone would chase something that has their stuff in it. But if I have all your items and you don't pay me for moving it, yeah, I'm gonna keep your stuff. Thank you for giving me all of this free furniture for free. It's awesome. That's not right. What about my time? What about my time? Who the fuck? She had been yelling at us four hours on the job before this. Just come back to the shop, Kim. So I'm just going to sit in my car and wait. Yeah. Like a boss. Yeah. No, you stay here with my furniture. You hear that? She, well, she's refusing to pay what we quoted her. Yeah, she going. Yeah. Hey, she making me mad as oh my god. Like she really pissing me off. Better question, how did all of this happen and they still didn't get paid? I don't understand. The least you could do is put her furniture in your house, right? Yeah? Anything is better than nothing, and you guys practically did that for free if you just throw the furniture away. Better yet, put it back in the house that you moved it from. Just, just take it back. Take it to her new place, but stack all of the furniture on the roof so she has to get it down. I don't know, I would just be so salty if I went through this and got nothing out of it. Like, she didn't even offer you guys any food for doing this for her. Nothing. You got nothing out of this. Not even a sand which it wasn't even a free meal watered down lemonade water <laughs> did she at least give you guys water crazy right, karen well, chases you. us part two uh we've been followed by hope to god they're here Ken's she refused to pay and good. then chased us back to base go, 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 go. Shh, shh, shh. you got your bag where'd she go why is there a part three instead of just cut video i don't know this guy just didn't know how to do it i don't know who this is but her tiktok was next and the karen wasn't even live it was like a story time i hate tiktok <laughs> I know there was like a lot of footage and I have very little to say about this lady, but why do like most Karens have that big top small body build? I don't get it. It's that type of person that is constantly out and constantly up, but only to sit down in other places. And I hear you already. Don't we all do that? Well, yes, but I don't know. I feel like stress and eating everywhere you go does tend to do this to you. I feel like those two colliding with verbal complaints constantly would probably do this to your physique. You know, I don't mean to talk about her like she participates in any sport. She has no statistics, really, but this is just going off of what I can see. You know, the naked eye. But you have to have an attorney to enforce it. You can't enforce it. 
Yes, we can. Because that is your private No, property. because it is an agreement with me and the landowner. It is behind a fence. Right. If it was out in the public like a car. No, no. You can take it from any place. No, no. But you are destroying something. Ma'am, you're trying to tell me how to do my job that I've done for years, all right? There we go. Finally, somebody said it. One thing I will never understand is the fact that some people, for some reason, have this sudden thought that they know how to do somebody else's job better. And they know more about somebody else's job. Obviously, she's not the landowner if he's still allowed on the land. If your dead father still owns the building, then, you know, they, the agreement still stands, I'm guessing, right? Even if you tried to take ownage of the building since he's deceased, I feel like you would know something about this. They would definitely tell you something about this. I'm glad that she knows how property works on the lowest level but i mean if he had to tell you the name of the company something tells me you have no clue what's going on yeah that's about it for all these karens on tiktok it really just doesn't get any crazier than this right on that note thank you guys for watching today's video if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like and subscribe also be sure to comment down below so i can go hard it while you're ready to go follow my instagram and my twitter and you guys have a wonderful day peace peace